Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of senior members of the royal family and officials at Ghadabiya Palace today. His Royal Highness affirmed that the interests of the kingdom and its people is the common objective towards which everyone should work in pursuit of further prosperity and progress. His Royal Highness praised the awareness that characterizes the Bahraini people of the regional and international circumstances that surround the kingdom, especially in light of the current moment where the conditions of different countries are becoming increasingly interdependent. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of drawing lessons from the events in the region, which he said should urge everyone to value the unity, security and stability of the country. During the meeting, His Royal Highness discussed various matters that pertain to local, regional and international affairs and described the Bahraini people and their loyalty as the source of Bahrain's strength, stability and achievement. His Royal Highness cited the Kingdom's achievements over the past years, which he said are the result of the contribution of the people of Bahrain who have displayed exemplary loyalty and patriotism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the President of the Bahrain Journalist Association Ahdiya Ahmed as well as members of the association at Ghadibiya Palace today. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the role that the Bahraini press plays in enlightening public opinion and in raising awareness of a variety of societal issues in a responsible manner. His Royal Highness stressed that the national interest must be the standard against which every written or uttered word is measured in the media. His Royal Highness said that the challenges of the present moment require raising further awareness and working collectively in the service of national interest, the top priority of which are the security and stability of the kingdom, as well as guarding against social division. His Royal Highness said that these objectives are being achieved through the noble principles of journalism. His Royal Highness praised the Bahrain Journalists Association for electing a new board and wished them success as they attempt further achievements, which His Royal Highness said will contribute to the development of the occupation of journalism and fulfill the aspirations of Bahraini journalists. His Royal Highness also congratulated the organization for electing a woman as its president as it reflects the competency and ability that qualifies Bahraini women to occupy the most senior of positions in the kingdom. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of Bahraini journalists in defending the security and stability of the country and their support for the country's modernization and development process in all aspects. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahraini journalists have proven their service to the country through taking honorable and responsible positions as they perform their professional duties. His Royal Highness affirmed his support for freedom of speech, which he said are among Bahrain's values and that it facilitates the development and service of society as a whole. His Royal Highness added that the government is keen on following the media in all its forms as part of its responsibility in safeguarding the interests of the country and its people. His Royal Highness praised the newspaper columnists for offering their opinions and analysis, the quality of which His Royal Highness said characterizes the Bahraini press. For her part, President of the Bahrain Journalists Association, Ahdi Ahmed, expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Premier for his limitless support of the press as professionals, and for His Royal Highness's keenness in meeting with journalists and in recognizing and appreciating their efforts. Ahmed member and members of the association's m members have expressed appreciation for the support that the press enjoys by His Royal Highness uh, the Premier. They said that the uh, Prince uh, Khalifa bin Salman Journalism Prize reflects His Royal Highness's keen interest in supporting and developing Bahraini journalism as it makes further strides towards serving the country. They also praised His Royal Highness's wisdom during the meeting as well as His Royal Highness's faith in Bahraini journalists in assisting the development of the country. The Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed Ramahi, praised the wise directions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on promoting the press and information sector in the kingdom and his support, which achieves the aspirations of citizens and follows latest developments the sector is witnessing. The Minister valued the topics discussed in the meeting with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Board of Directors of Bahrain Journalists Association and His Royal Highness's support for journalists' aspirations and their efforts to build on national achievements. 
He stressed that the support of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister for Journalism, is an honor for every journalist in Bahrain and affirmation on the responsible role of national journalism in enlightening public opinion and supporting the Sustainable Development March. The minister asserted that national journalism will remain committed to the directives of His Royal Highness regarding the performance of the press as development to serve the interests of Bahrain and maintain its security and progress, as well as protecting its identity and customs on the basis of integrity, objectivity, credibility and responsibility to achieve prosperity under the rule of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the President of the Muharraq Municipal Council, Ghazi Al Marbati, as well as the Council's members at Khalibiya Palace today. His Royal Highness affirmed that the meeting uh, that the needs uh, is meeting the needs of the citizens in all of its towns and villages represents a top priority for the government, which is carrying out ongoing development projects and services to make a, a dignified life possible for every citizen. His Royal Highness said that the government is keen on maintaining its cooperation with municipal councils and in empowering them, which His Royal Highness said reinforces the gains and achievements that have been realized for the country and its people in all aspects. His Royal Highness said everyone is working towards the same objective, which is to serve Bahrain and its people and to bring it further development and progress through increasing the pace of cooperation. During the meeting, His Royal Highness listened to the Muharraq Municipal Council's president and members as they communicated the needs of the people of the Muharraq government and discussed the developmental projects that are being carried out there. His Royal Highness praised the efforts that the Council is performing, such as listening to the people of the government and suggesting solutions for the challenges with which they are presented. His Royal Highness said that the upcoming period will witness more projects in various sectors, including healthcare, education, housing and services, and that the government is working towards the satisfaction of the needs of the citizens. His Royal Highness said that the Mahara government occupies a special historic place in the country and that the government is keen on increasing the pace of development in the government to meet the needs and aspirations of the citizens there. His Royal Highness added that he welcomes meeting with members of the Municipal Council and listening to them because cooperation represents the cornerstone in the work of any organization. His Royal Highness also expressed appreciation for the work of the Council in the service of the government and its development in all aspects. His Royal Highness affirmed his keen interest in following the development projects that are being carried out in all governments and that the directives issued to all officials are intended to complete these projects in a timely manner while maintaining the highest levels of quality and precision. His Royal Highness urged the members of the Muharraq Municipal Council to continue offering more initiatives and suggestions that can improve the lives of the people of the government, to which His Royal Highness said that the government is always interested in listening to and supporting. For their part, the President and members of the Municipal Council expressed their thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's keen interest in communicating with citizens across the country, especially in Muharraq government, government, for which His Royal Highness has special love and appreciation. They affirm that His Royal Highness, as usual, listened to them today with keen interest, which reflects the special care that His Royal Highness takes when dealing with the interests of citizens in all governance. They added that His Royal Highness assured them that their comments and suggestions will be addressed by the government and its various bureaus, and that His Royal Highness will personally, as well as through his ministers, will continue to cooperate with them to achieve the aspirations of the people of Mharag. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Decree No. 5 for the year 2019 concerning the transfer and appointment of managers in customs affairs at the Ministry of Interior. Article 1 of the decree stipulates the transfer of the Director of Human Resources and Administration, Abdullah Mbarak Zwayed, to be Director of the Information Systems Department. The transfer of the Director of Planning and Customs Policy, Arif Abdel Ghaffar Al Alawi, to be the Director of Training and Development Department. The transfer of the Director of Maritime Ports, Customs Department, Khalifa Abdullah Shomili, to be the Director of Customs Clearance Department. Article 2 stipulates appointing in the Customs Affairs of the Ministry of the Interior the following Muhammad Hassan Al Isa as Director of the Land Ports Customs Department. Sheikh Sultan bin Adhij Al Khalifa as Director of Human Resources and Administration. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired today the meeting of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen at Rafa Palace. Present at the meeting were the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs and Vice President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletic Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, the Minister of Defense Affairs, and the committee members. His Royal Highness directed the implementation of plans and programs aimed at supporting martyrs' families and meeting their needs through providing services and various initiatives necessary to ensure a decent life, which is an implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve the objectives of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen to Martyrs and Their Sacrifices. His Royal Highness praised the Bahraini interaction with Martyrs Day, which falls on the 17th of December and reflects the status of martyrs and the community's contribution to honor martyrs of duty. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted His Majesty the King's unwavering support to the families of fallen servicemen, noting that their sacrifices will never go unnoticed by the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined the important role that Bahrain's brave servicemen play in safeguarding the Kingdom's security, which is an essential foundation for progress and development. The Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen was established by His Majesty King Hamad to provide aid and assistance to the families of the Kingdom's servicemen who have fallen in the line of duty. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at Rafa Palace the newly appointed Ambassador of Russia to the Kingdom, Mr. Igor Kremnev. During the meeting, His Royal Highness praised the steady growth of bilateral ties between Bahrain and Russia and highlighted the importance of further developing partnerships across various sectors, as per His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives. Both sides also discussed recent regional and international developments. His Royal Highness welcomed the Ambassador to the Kingdom, wishing him every success in his new diplomatic role. For his part, the Ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and affirmed Russia's commitment to continue building on existing Bahrain-Russia ties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written message from United Comoros Islands Republic President Uthman Ghazali. The message addressed to His Majesty the King was received by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa as he received the Comorian Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Minister Mohammed Al Amin Swayf at Ghadaybia Palace today. His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister welcomed the visit of the Comorian official to the Kingdom and reviewed with him the fraternal ties between the two countries as well as various issues of shared interest. The Shura Council held its eighth meeting of the first session of the fifth legislative term, chaired by the Council's chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. Al Saleh extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, the esteemed government, the commander in chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, and all BDF affiliates for the occasion of the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. During the meeting, the Council approved a draft law ratifying the amended and supplementary protocol concerning the air services agreement with the Republic of the Philippines signed between the two countries. The Council also approved a legislative amendment to the Penal Code concerning embezzlement cases. The Council did not approve the report of the Committee on Women and Children on two draft laws amending certain provisions of the Children's Law. The Committee stated in its justification that the draft law is currently being realized through the laws and regulations in force as well as the Constitution.
Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired today the first meeting of the committee formed to follow up on the implementation of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation. The cabinet approved the plan and ordered the creation of the committee to reinforce loyalty and national values that is shared by the Interior Minister and has the Minister of Education, Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Minister of Labor and Social Development, Minister of Information, Minister of Health and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs as members. The Interior Minister welcomed the members expressing thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for the trust and confidence to appoint him as head of the National Committee. He noted that the plan was part of the comprehensive vision of His Majesty the King to reinforce patriotism and its values for being the main factors for development. It also shows the interest of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to integrate strengthening belonging to the nation and the consolidation of patriotism values as part of the Government Action Plan. The minister highlighted the phases of the plan since its launching as an initiative in a meeting with the committee members and then the formation of a committee of specialists and experts to set a plan for a framework for all authorities concerned to achieve its goals. The committee commenced its work by setting the national plan project to build on the previous achievements of strengthening social cohesion, protection of national security and stability, reinforcement of loyalty to the nation and citizenship value, and promotion of moderation, tolerance and national unity. The members decided to form a committee to supervise the implementation of the plan's initiatives in coordination with bodies concerned and discuss the official launching of the plan. The Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the members and wished them all the best in carrying their duties out and achieving the targeted goals.